set of uh, slides first. Then uh, after that, I'll go to the other set of slides. Okay, uh, we have been talking about lean, lean manufacturing, lean operations or Toyota production system. And uh, we have talked about what is uh, what's the meaning of lean, uh, waste, waste. We have actually defined waste, uh, eight kinds of waste and uh, uh, how to eliminate waste, okay? And also 5S. Uh, and the concept of uh, just in time uh, inventory, we we don't want to produce too much. We just produce whatever is needed by customer um, just in time, okay? And uh, the correct quantity and the correct timing. So everything need to be just in time, basically. I mean, lean, right? So including uh, scheduling. So your scheduling must also be. Um, Synchronized. Synchronized means coordinated so that it becomes uh, um, uh, smooth production, okay, smooth uh, of smooth quantity. So schedules must be communicated inside and outside the organization, meaning that if you do not inform your suppliers, you have suppliers, so you need to inform them your schedules. And uh, well, because we're talking about uh, level schedules, or in Japanese, we call it heijunka, okay, heijunka, leveling, leveling. So leveling, so there is uh, uh, frequent small batches. Remember, we say push, uh, sorry, pull. You only pull uh, certain quantity. For example, you only make 10 of one type of product. Then you make the next 10, okay? So it's very uh, uh, frequent, uh, frequent. And uh, freezing the schedule means uh, you try to block it. Uh, for example, one week uh, confirmed schedule or two weeks confirmed schedule, you freeze. You freeze the schedule. You do not allow any changes. Okay, If you allow changes, then it's going to disrupt your production, basically. And how uh, this lean uh, achieve a very uh, smooth smooth transition between filling up stocks and uh, pulling. Okay, it's called, they use Kanban. Kanban is a Japanese word, means a cut. It's nothing but cut, okay? But it's actually, actually, it's actually a signal. It's, it's a signal, they use the cuts to signal you need the parts, you need the components, okay? Then only you pull, right? I will show you some examples of Kanban after this okay um so you need good scheduling so to achieve pull system you need good scheduling you need uh, confirmed scheduling you need to communicate schedules to suppliers and level schedules freeze part of the schedule and you must uh, perform to the schedule means you make your products based on the schedules okay and it's possible one piece flow this is called one piece flow. One piece flow means you only make one at a time. One piece to make, one piece move to the next. But of course, not uh, all processes can achieve this. You, maybe you need to make five, then you pull five, okay? But, that, but basically, target is one. And eliminate waste, uh, produce in lots small lots, and you use Kanbans. And, um, Every operation must produce a perfect part. Why? You only produce one. So if you produce a bad part, you give to the next process. Process cannot continue because the part is reject or rejected. Then uh, you know the project production will stop basically. Okay. So this is uh, level schedule is a hejunka again uh, process frequent uh, small batches rather than large small batches you make small lots so the level schedule is economical same thing you freeze the schedule close to the due dates uh, so that you can improve performance okay so it is actually very very disciplined so you do not allow errors basically you allow, you do not allow error, you allow very minimum error. So that's why it's a perfect system.
Okay, it's a perfect system. You only move one, you make one. The one that you make is perfect. You move to the next process. So it's it's a very uh, it's a very challenging process. Okay. Um, so JIT level material use approach is small batches. So A A B B. This is one batch. A is one batch. B is one batch. So you move on to the C. Then you make A. Then you make B. So it's frequent changes. Not not large lot approach. Okay, large lot approach is you make you make many, then you push. You make many, then you push. No, this is make what is only required as minimum as possible. Okay, kanban is Japanese word for cut, and it is uh, authorization for next container or material to be produced. So it's authorization. Eh? Okay. Um, so if you look at, uh, you know, it's a, it's a way of actually to move inventory to the shop floor. Okay, only at this is needed. You only, you only make what is needed. Okay. It is, it is not pushing to the next station. It's actually pulled by the next station. Eh? Okay. So it's actually pull system. So a sequence of Kanban pulls materials through the process. Many different sorts of signals are used, but the system is still called Kanban. So many, many types of Kanbans. Okay. There are many types of Kanban, for example, from the supplier to the manufacturer, there is also a Kanban. Okay. From the, uh, in the factory, there are a few other Kanban. Okay, I'll just show to you some of the Kanban. Eh? Okay. This is typical example. Eh? Typical example. So you see there, there is a red marker here. Red mark here. Um, so if uh, when there is a visual contact between producer and user, so I'm producing, okay, the user, the user is the next process. Okay. Uh, so the process works like this. If you read the book, the user removes a standard size container of parts from a small storage area as shown in figure 60.8. Okay. So the, uh, the user will remove uh, the standard size. The signal at the storage area, okay, the signal, signal marker on stack of boxes, okay, signal marker on stack of boxes uh, is seen by producing. Uh, uh, department is seen by the production department. I mean, the production, production, the next process, see that you need to replenish. Replenish means you need to top up. Okay, you need to actually uh, deliver new, new quantity. But of course, it doesn't go until zero. Eh? Basically, if it, for example, it reaches uh, um, so called two. Two boxes. Then by the time it reaches, it's already filled up. Okay, so it, this is a kind of kanban. I'll show you more. Okay, so okay, it is uh, it is trying to maintain maintain this uh, smooth flow, authorization of production and movement of goods. You cannot move the move goods if there is no signal. You cannot just send the parts. You cannot send. You have to wait for the signal. And this is an example, a sample Kanban. Okay, it is. Uh, it describes the the parts. Okay, what is the part? What is the number part number? And this is the Kanban number, and where it is going to be sent. So don't worry about this. And you see here, it's actually Nippon Denso, right? Nippon Denso. Okay, Nippon Denso uh, meter assembly airflow. So it's like this. It's a it is a two bin inventory system. So it's like our reorder point. Remember our reorder point R. So if it reaches R, then you need to actually uh, order, and it will reach you between the lead time. That's a lead time basically. Okay. So this is a two-bit inventory system where R is the reorder cut, reorder cut. Eh? They call it reorder cut. But this is it's a kind of kanban also. Eh? Okay. But in a kanban inventory system, so they will reach your for example, this inside this box, there is a 50 components left. So the Kanban is taken by the producer and given uh, to the uh, producer to produce 50. So by the time it produces 50, this 50 will be used up, they will replenish it. Okay, so it's like uh, continuous uh, replenishment. 
So types of Kanban, production Kanban, which authorize production of goods. Withdrawal Kanban. Withdraw means you authorize movement of goods. Okay. There is also a Kanban square. Kanban square is actually an area to hold items. So it's, it's not moving, it's uh, just keeping the items. It is designated to keep the items or the, or, or the parts. There is a signal Kanban. It is a triangular Kanban. This is more detailed than that simple example just now. Okay, Triangular Kanban to signal production at the previous workstation. There is a material Kanban to order material in, in advance of a process. There is a supplier Kanban that rotates between the factory and the suppliers. So imagine there are many signals, basically. It's nothing but signals. It's nothing but, it's nothing but telling the other uh, process to actually make it and send it. Okay? So it's, uh, if you look at it's a bit, you know, it's not, so, not to say complicated, but there's, there's two flow. One is flow of work. And one is flow of Kanban. Kanban is the card. So the flow is process A, process B, okay? But the Kanban is actually flowing backwards. Now. Once it is, you know, it's supposed to finish, then not to say finish. When there is not enough parts, they will send to the previous process. Okay. And in this case, W is what? W is withdrawal Kanban. P is production Kanban. So this is production Kanban. That means this, uh, this part is already finished. They will tell this process A, please make, please make the quantity. Then they will produce it and send it. Okay. Material withdrawal. So this is a withdrawal Kanban. Okay. Uh, so empty card signals production. Replacement material for this uh, process. So this is an empty card, which is also signals production. Okay. So it is it's kind of, uh, and it's a dual Kanban system. Eh? Dual. So between one step, and another step, okay? You can see this in Toyota. If you visit Toyota factory, you can see this. This is uh, working. Eh? Of course, you, you have to ask where is the Kanban. And other type of Kanbans, there's many. Uh, there are Kanban racks, and this is the uh, Kanban squares, flow of work and also flow of information. Okay, uh, the one that we saw just now was only the signal Kanban. Okay, the first example just now, it was only the signal Kanban. Okay, this is only signal Kanban. Signal Kanban, it's a signal. It's not uh, production Kanban, it's the signal. Okay, so that's what Toyota have given the world. The Toyota have given the world Kanban. Toyota production system has taught the production. Okay, there's uh, any questions? You get an idea what Kanban is. You home? Any questions? No. No. Okay. So you can see Kanban is being you know uh, used to connect processes, eh? telling them you you need to make and you need to send now before I finish my parts. Okay. Okay. So when a producer and user are not in visual contact, a card can be used. Otherwise, a light or a flag or empty spot. Empty spot also. Empty spot on the floor. So when there is an empty spot, then the material supplier will put in the... They know that that is, that is a telling that you need to replenish. You need to fill up. Okay, usually each card controls a specific quantity of parts, although multiple card system may be used if there are several components. Yes, if you have uh, each card, certain quantity, 50, 20, you know, then it will actually rotate. But of course, if there are multiple cards, you can, you can actually supply more than that. Okay. Or even if the lot size is different from the move size. Uh, so good. Uh, Kanban cards provide a direct control and limit on the amount of work in process between cells. They limit the quantity 
of work in process between cells, between processes. So you control, you don't want more than what is required. Okay, because inventory is cost, right? And inventory uh, will result into, if you keep too much inventory without checking, there will be a lot of quality issues, for example. Okay. And if there is an intermediate storage area, uh, like this now, uh, Kanban uh, sort, uh, space, okay? A two card system can be used with one card circulating between the user and storage area and the other between the storage area and the production area. That means there is a cent there is a intermediate storage. Uh, this is storage. So there is a production. So they, they will actually, uh, there will be a Kanban here, okay? And this is the user or the next process. So there is also a Kanban here. So it is um, a two card system between uh, one is between the user, the user and the storage. Another one between the storage and the production area. Okay. For example, in making uh, cars, uh, car bodies, they uh, this is like a painted body. Okay, painted body. This is the final assembly, final assembly line. Painted body are storage, stored first before they go to the final assembly. So this is the before process, okay, body, body shop or some, some other previous process. So already painted body, which doesn't have any component, is stored. Okay. So that is an example. There are many, many applications. Of it. And today you can use electronic Kanban, no problem. I mean, uh, electronic way of uh, messaging. There is a way <coughs> to calculate the number of Kanbans or containers. Uh, what you need to know is the lead time to produce a container or parts. How, how long does it take? Eh? And also you must know the safety stock. So the number of Kanbans or containers you know, that you actually need is the demand during lead time plus safety stock divided by the size of container. I mean, how much uh, one container actually uh, you're going to put in, okay? I'm not going to be, I'm just going to just explain to you briefly, okay? It's just saying that how many Kanban do you need eh, in order to make sure that you actually have the, the, the uh, you know, the process going to be smoothly running, okay? So the daily demand is 500 cakes. You can see this example on page, uh, yes, example two, uh, page uh, 686, is it? Yeah, 686. So Hobbs Bakery produces short run of cakes that are shipped to grocery store. The owner, Ken Hobbs, wants to try to reduce inventory by changing to a Kanban system. He has developed the following data and asked you to finish the project. Production lead time is equals to wait time plus material handling plus processing time to two days. Okay, so that is the lead time, production lead time, two days. Daily demand 500 cakes, safety stock have a day's stock. Container size determined on P EOQ is 250 cakes. So uh, having determined that the EOQ is 250, we then determine the number of kanbans needed. So demand during lead time is equals to lead time times daily demand is equals to 1,000, okay? So 1,000, so that is the demand during lead time. During lead time, because that's when, when you're going to actually reorder or use the Kanban. Safety stock, 250. So during uh, the number of Kanban is the number, uh, the demand during lead time plus safety stock divided by the container size, okay? Container size is 50. So you need five Kanbans. So once the reorder point is hit, five containers should be released, okay? So basically, uh, you know, it's just a way of uh, determining the number of Kanbans, okay? So the advantages of Kanban, uh, small con Containers require tight schedules. Of course, if you, your N equals to one, then it's going to be very, very, very tight. Okay. To produce one, produce. But normally the you know the delivery is more than one. You cannot deliver more than one. But in a in a process, you can produce one at a time. And of course, shortages uh, create in, uh, immediate impact on the entire system. Okay. So that's why. 
the process must have very little variability on quality. Little variability on quality. Quality must be perfect. Or even, uh, not to say perfect, because in Toyota, they have undone light. So when there is a problem, they will stop the production line. Undone, undone light. They pull down and the production line will stop. Everybody will solve, uh, come down to the floor, shop, shop floor, and solve the problem. Okay? Very little variability. Um, because Kanban uh, places, Kanban places, or basically just in time system, because in this just in time system, which is lean, you have this Kanban to replenish your inventory. So it emphasizes on meeting schedules. That means you must meet your schedule, you must reduce your lead time, you must reduce your setup time. So it's like working in a perfect system in harmony, okay? Very, very uh, precise. Everything is very precise. And economical material control, meaning your material handling, you reduce a lot of uh, waste. Remember, we talked about transportation, waste of trans transportation, okay? So you try to reduce transportation waste, eh? okay? So in uh, in plan in plan Kanban system, they use standardized uh, containers, which will reduce weight, uh, reduce disposal cost, or even space and uh, labor requirements. Okay, so that's why you have standardized containers uh, or tote box or boxes, eh? very standardized, and you will you know ensure uh, efficiency. Okay. Right, of course, you know, there are, there are of, uh, advantages of Kanban. And people, if you don't understand the system, they will... <laughs> it, need, it's need, it needs discipline. Because uh, we cannot just do the Kanban card and nobody follow. Eh? They, they need discipline. You can have all the cards, but if, if the employee doesn't follow, then it, can, it will work. It will not work. Okay? It will fail. Now, uh, you have studied quality already, okay, last semester, correct? So, so in Lean, in Lean, in the new book, actually, actually it doesn't call JIT anymore, it says Lean Quality, right, on page 687, Lean Quality. It, the first sentence is, <clears throat> there is no Lean without quality. Okay, there is no Lean without quality. Yu Hong, you explain to me. There is no lean without quality. Or anyone for that matter. What do you understand by this uh, sentence? There is no lean. It's in the book. Okay, it's in the book. In the first sentence there, without quality now oh, anyone anyone who or yuki or yule can anyone tell me this uh, sentence meaning of this sentence there is no lean without quality No problem. Any, any, you know, any suggestion? Ma, Yule, what do you mean by this? There is no lean without quality. Uh, all links for production, smaller page sizes, and low inventory are uh, enhanced quality by its processing bad quality. Again, again, repeat the... I just read the book. Which, which uh, sentence? Uh, 
exposing bad quality. Ah, you read that one. Eh? So lean spool production, smaller batches, and low inventory all enhance quality by exposing bad quality. So when we when we do lean, okay. Remember this. Uh, let me just go back. Eh? I tell. I will show you to this. Remember, I showed you this uh, this this uh, picture. Yes, last week. Did I show you? No. Yes. No. This is inventory level. You slight JIT means you reduce inventory and you get it smaller and smaller. Now, when you reduce inventory, that means you are trying to become lean and lean and lean. So it will expose all the problems. It will expose all your quality problems, all your scrap, your process downtime, which is, uh, your poor quality uh, process. So lean cannot work if there is quality problems. Lean will fail if there is a lot of quality problems. So what happened is, you know, lean can only work if uh, you have very little variability. That's why quality is important. Quality, not only the process, but quality products and components. The components you get from the suppliers, you buy from suppliers. If I need, uh, I need to, to use 50 for this hour, I need 50 parts to use for my installation. If the supplier send me defective parts, 50 defective parts, can production run? What happened to production? What will happen to the production? What's the word? I mean, can you run production? If the parts that the supplier send is uh, not good, what happened? What happened to the production process? What's the word? You can't no, you finish. Huh? Cannot finish. You can't finish production. You cannot, you cannot start production. Production stops. Yes. Simple as like that. Production stops. Why? Because you cannot, the products, the parts is defective. You cannot install it. You cannot install this defective parts. Okay. Because it will not, uh, it will just go to the customer. So, so lean quality, there is strong relationship between lean uh, and quality because lean will cut, uh, lean cuts the cost of obtaining good quality because JIT exposes poor quality. At the end of the day, you are going to get a very uh, effective and efficient system exposing all the quality. Do you do improvement? Kaizen. You cannot just wait for the quality defect to just happen. You do it Kaizen. When there is a problem, poor quality, you do Kaizen or you do improvement. Okay, quality improvement. Because lead time are shorter, quality problems are exposed should sooner. Very fast, you can expose the problems. And better quality means fewer buffers and allow simpler GIT system to be used. That is really the reason why many companies fail to implement JIT or Lean because <clears throat> they did not solve their quality problems. Same like Toyota. Toyota. I mean, not like Toyota. Toyota knows you need to improve uh, simultaneously at the same time. Okay? So that's why Lean play fails because they do not actually do the quality improvement. Eh? Understand? Huh? So what are the JIT or quality, quality tactics? Or I, I would say like this, companies that actually have lean are actually TQM companies, total quality company as well. TQM, TQM companies. Because they use SP statistical process control, empower employees. They build uh, Pokayoke. Do you know Pokayoke? Nihongo wa Pokayoke. Have you heard of Pokayoke? No. Pakai okay. It's foolproof, foolproofing device. Okay, foolproof. Maybe you can Google and see Pokai okay. Okay, examples of Pokai okay. 
So basically, uh, you must implement uh, quality at the same time. You're trying to improve the process using lean. Low inventory, uh, high quality process and products, then it will work. Okay. I, I mentioned to you that all these are actually uh, TPS. Okay. But if you look into uh, the uh, uh, Toyota production system documents, okay, for example, Toyota Way, there is a document called Toy Toyota Way. Okay. Uh, Soka. Miru. Miru, can you see? Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is Toyota business practice. Okay. So Toyota business practice is actually inside here everything about uh, Toyota Toyota business practice. Okay. So Toyota, that's why I that's why I buy Toyota. Okay, because Toyota has a very this is a Toyota business practice the way that they actually solve problems. They have, uh, you know, they have very, very systematic, okay? very systematic, very, uh, they know how to do, the first is the pillar, okay, in Toyota production system is continuous improvement. Means build a organizational culture and value system that stress improvement of all processes. Kaizen, yeah. <laughs> Kaizen. Kaizen is everything improvement, everyday improvement, Mainichi Kaizen, uh, Zembu, non demo Kaizen, okay? And part of every, everyone's job to do uh, improvement, continuous improvement, okay? First pillar, second pillar, pillar means the, the foundation, okay? The foundation. Second pillar is, respect for people. So in Toyota production system, so before they talk about the, you know, the techniques, techniques is important, but uh, first is uh, philosophy. Philosophy first. Thinking first, okay? Respect for people. People are treated as knowledge workers. That's why in Toyota, they don't waste. No human waste because every human give idea. Okay? Zembu, ne? from worker shop floor until top manager. So they treat uh, no, hito zukuri, oh. hito zukuri. Not only mono zukuri, but hito zukuri. Ichiban taisesu ne. So engage mental and physical capabilities of people. Okay, empower employees. Empower means give them the you know uh, responsibility and authority and power to make decisions to do improvement okay so that's the second pillar empowered uh, uh, respect for people and uh, this is also part of toyota production system standard work practice standard work uh, this is chapter 10 okay chapter 10 if you study chapter 10 work study remember standard time normal time work study that is standard work practice so work every work that they do they they have content for example how to install tire so step one take the tire step two you know so every every timing and sequence is kaizen think think eh? think think not you do work not just do work <laughs> but you do work uh, is this 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 better way? Can I find a faster, uh, safer? Okay, so they come up with standard work practice. Standard work practice. Uh, internal and external customer supply connection are direct. They also do with uh, suppliers as well. Okay, mm, right. So so their processes must connect with their suppliers as well. 
material and service flows are simple. They must that that, that is very important. Sometimes uh, we we create unnecessary difficult. <laughs> so simple and direct way of doing things. Any improvement must be made in accordance with the scientific method at the lowest possible level of an organization, meaning at the shop floor, shop floor level, okay, or at the office level. For example, purchasing process can be improved. Right? Okay. Uh, right. So lean requires the activities, connection, and flow include built in tests to signal problems. Okay. To signal problem. When a problem or defect occurs, uh, production is stopped. So Japanese call this as uh, jidoka. Okay, I've uh, told you just now jidoka. Okay. This one actually, uh, you know, one Japanese uh, gave it to me when I was in Japan. This this book uh, given by one Japanese guy. Uh, he said, uh, he just, he said, give me, because I was trying to interview him. I was doing a research. I was in Japan, 2015. And I was studying about uh, Toyota production system. And he gave me this uh, book. It's, it's, a, it's a very good uh, book about uh, problem solving in uh, Toyota. Okay. Ichiban taisetsu wa kanga kata yo. Ichiban taisetsu wa kanga kata. Tools you can study, techniques you can study. You can do mathematics, statistics, you know, these tools you can study. But to develop thinking, um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. Eh? So, lean operation. So, the book talks about lean operation, but I'm, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, okay? It is nothing. It's still Toyota production system, okay? It is uh, covering the, including JIT. Eh? But to me, I, you know, it's TPS, eh? lean, lean operation, or TPS, stroke lean operations. Okay. <clears throat> this is the most difficult thing, actually. The most difficult is how to build a lean organization, okay? How to build a lean organization? How to how to change the culture from non you know uh, just production thinking, just make 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 as long as we make money. Let same same in you know some companies in China, some companies in China just make 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 got money okay, but uh, how long can you last if you don't make and Try to minimize resources, waste reduction, improvement, quality perfection. Okay, then you can compete. If not, you cannot compete. So transitioning, that means you try to become, transition means, what is transition? Transition change eh? or become, to become. A lean uh, system can be difficult. Right, lean system or TPS basically, they use, uh, JIT technique, just in time. That means you only produce what is required at the required time. You build systems that help employees produce perfect parts. Okay, that is the thinking. Okay, uh, reduce space requirements. If you have less less inventory, of course you have to reduce your space requirements. Muda, space extra space. Muda, you only use uh, floor area. Why don't you use height? Height is, uh, you know, is space. So 3D. Eh? Uh, right. So it says, uh, it, I, okay, I didn't mention just now, eh? it's difficult, but the culture of continuous improvement, culture, how many organizations you just think, do they have culture for continuous improvement? When I say culture for continuous improvement, what, what I mean, what, what what can you can you give examples of uh, a culture for continuous improvement? Hmm? Culture. 
I've been teaching you for the past two years. Only all these things about improvement. You, did, do you recognize? Do you realize that I've been teaching you about improvement? Last semester, when you do your project, I asked you to find out current condition and new condition improvement. So, so the culture of improvement means you always look at all processes as opportunity for improvement. If you just look, for example, I have a lot of opportunity for improvement in my room. <laughs> Things are everywhere. Things are everywhere. I know there is opportunity for improvement. If you walk, for example, on the roads, uh, Japan, Japan, almost perfect world. <laughs> Japan, uh, not to say perfect, many things are good. Uh, but of course, there are still culture for improvement. I know they still have. So this is, this is, this is uh, very difficult. Uh, because not, not many people, you know, you work in a company. Uh, if I say this thing needs to be improved, then the owner of the process say, no, 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 no need to improve. This is okay. Okay. Nobody wants to say, you know, that they need improvement. Eh? So it requires open communication. Open communication and you destroy the <clears throat> barrier between departments. Silo, you know silo? People work in silo. You Google this word. Many companies or many people, they work in silo. Silo, you know silo? What is silos? For example, you are in the yes, marketing department. Okay, what is silo? Ho? What is silo? Ho? Uh, it means uh, the there's so many uh inventory or the inventory or okay this is uh the nihongo anandeskane silo nihongo wa onaji yo sairo Sairo, 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 Sairo. You know, they put this uh, uh, flour, they put oil. So this is, you are in marketing department. Yule is in finance department. Uh, Fangi is in the sales department. Yuki is in, you know, you work in a company. So I only protect my department. I don't care about you. So silo lah. You understand? Silo, it will fail. In companies that have silo, it will fail. Lean will not work. Okay? So you need to develop partnership with suppliers. You need to educate suppliers. You must eliminate uh, all but value-added activities. Develop employees. Make jobs challenging. Build worker flexibility. So it is a comprehensive system for excellence. Okay, comprehensive. It's like, uh, you know, a Deming Award is also part of excellence. Okay, Deming Award. You have been reading Deming Award, right? And what about lean sustainability? Eh? Some, some, you know, some people are, uh, what was the difference between lean and sustainability? Actually, lean and sustainability are the same thing, two sides of the same coin. Sustainability tries to reduce waste also. Lean also tries to you, uh, you know, reduce waste as well. Sustainability talks about making sure you do not uh, overuse the, the resources. I mean, you save some of the resources for future generation, for your children, or your grandchildren, so you don't cut all the trees. Is that right? You, you have heard about that, right? Sustainability, economic sustainability. You don't cut down all the trees. You don't use all, all the resources. Okay, it's, this, it's the same thing, basically. Eh? Two sides of the same coin. Uh, 
both maximize resources use and economy efficiency. Um, and they focus issues outside the immediate companies. Okay. Um, but leans, lean both. Uh, actually, they also drive out waste because waste, waste adds nothing for the customer. That is, uh, you know, uh, that is a good, good culture actually. Eh? Good culture. So driving out waste is the common ground between lead and sustainability. But today there is a lot of research being done on uh, a relationship between lead and sustainability. Okay, if you look into the journals, you'll find this. Right. And uh, you know, finally, the lean operation in services. Do you know that lean now has been implemented in services as well? You know, there are lean healthcare, there are lean bank banking. Okay, because you know, all, all operations. You know, this is op this is a surgery. Okay, surgery is a kind of operation. Okay, this is a hospital. They do surgery. So surgeries <clears throat> can be improved. Can you can actually uh, reduce the time? You can actually make it uh, faster. Okay, because the uh, the ingredient in lean is actually respect for people, continuous improvement, and also uh, what you call uh, trying to reduce waste. So it's common to all organization, whether. Whether the company is, you know, uh, delivering uh, services to uh, for healthcare, financial, and so on. Okay, so the JIT techniques used in manufacturing are also used in services. Uh, not JIT lah, just put it in the lean techniques. Uh. The lean techniques used in manufacturing are also used in services. Okay. Um, Lean in hospitals, in banks, and it will actually involve uh, uh, suppliers because this is the same thing. Operations will have suppliers. You need to lean, uh, you know, make up, make your layout also lean, uh, your inventory, and also your scheduling so that you do not um, you optimize your facilities. Okay. Scheduling will actually optimize usage of equipments and facilities. Okay. Airlines. <laughs> airlines will definitely benefit from lean. In fact, I've given you the case study on airlines, right? So that's, uh, you know, the Air Alaska Airlines. Okay. So if you, uh, if you want to make sure that you are competitive, to deliver goods and services to the customers, satisfying the customers, that our processes must be lean, eh? must be uh, uh, efficient, waste reduction. Okay, right. I think that's uh, okay. Let me just. Any questions? Any questions? Uh, that you you have. Any any questions? No. Okay. Right. For the rest of the, the hour. Mm. Uh, uh, could you tell us about the, the next week the, the final project presentation? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we we have still a lot of time. Okay. Um, right. I I want I want to share with you. Uh, I gave a talk to one of the local universities here, which is in uh, in Johor. It's related to lean and engineering management in construction. But of course, I know you are not in construction, but don't worry. Um, if you've seen my video, Yule, did you watch my video in, uh, in YouTube? 
No? No, okay. Because this is also, also part of one of my videos that I've uh, uploaded in the YouTube. Let, let me share with you, okay. This is part of the history of uh, Toyota. Okay, Toyota. Anyone of you have read about the history of Toyota? Fang Yi, have you read about Toyota's uh, history? No? Anyone? Anyone have uh, come across the history of Toyota? Okay, let me just share with you the, you know, how Toyota actually became Toyota uh, and created TPS, created uh, Toyota production system. Eh? Let me just... Uh, Okay, these are the books that is good to read actually. Lean Thinking, The Machine That Changed the World, Toyota Way. And this is very good book. Taichi Ono's Workplace Management. Workplace Management, eh? how to make sure our workplace or basically operation. Eh? This is Lexus. This is, uh, I forgot, this is also Lexus. Eh? Okay. So Ikichi Toyoda is only a rice farmer a poor carpenter and have a small plot of land. His son, uh, son of Ikichi, born 17, uh, in 14 April 1867, just before Meiji Restoration, opening of Japan. So Sakichi Toyoda was the son. So Sakichi Toyoda uh, opened Toyoda Automatic Loom Works, which is actually producing uh, cloth, okay, clothings. Uh, uh, what do you call weaving clothes? So he actually invented a weaving machine that has automatic stop when thread snaps in 1926. So you, you know when you actually do weaving, weaving one thread, one thread, one thread. Okay, there is uh, horizontal, there is vertical, correct? Then you be, make it into a cloth, right? So when the thread snaps, you know thread, ito. When thread snaps, what happened to your clothes? You can see, right? Snap. So that's what happened is he stopped the machine, the machine, and replaced with a new thread, so that the 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 cloth become you know doesn't show any defective. Okay. So that is the first concept of Jidoka. So this is quite is called as automatic stop. It is actually Jidoka in weaving machine. Okay. In English, we call it as autonomation. Autonomation. So in 1937, uh, his son, Kichiro Toyoda, founded Toyota Automotive. Okay. So he asked his son to actually. Uh, make cars, not uh, they still make uh, you know a weaving machine. They still produce all these uh, uh, garments, uh, and they supply truck for government. 1947 supply truck for the government. And if you read the history, is that you know they were they don't they were in financial crisis, and there was a restructure. There was a big layoff. In fact, there was the biggest labor dispute. Workers going on strike in 1950. They were almost closing down. Okay, Toyota, like uh, they want to actually close down, but they didn't close down. They managed to actually work out something with the employees, and they they um, you know restart the company. And uh, in 1953. Trucks produced increased to 3,000 units per month without increasing the workers. In 1955, Kanban was start, uh, was uh, implemented in the machining factory. So if you read the history, it's actually uh, invented by uh, Taichi Ono. Okay, Taichi Ono. So Ono-san. In 1960, Jidoka was introduced in the fact in the car making okay car industry initially it was in the the automatic loom making the cloth 
so line stop at that uh, time physical line stop line stop mean the production line stop no sensors no advances so ono san said worker gets tired he should stop the line okay so this provided the basis for toyota production system okay because they were in financial crisis they have not enough money so i have uh, actually uh, this is the rest of the history of uh, toyota and then they, after that it was like his you know uh, very successful okay very successful so tps was actually created by taichi ono in 1950s so with the kanban with the jidoka with the uh, single minute exchange of dai just in time okay just in time they won the war deming price war 1965 That's why I said the mid price is for industry. Ah, uh, you hung. Yes. Ah, uh, the mid price criteria is for the industry. Okay. Uh, so quality what? So 1973 there was all shock. You should know this. You are business students. You you should know what happened in 1973. The world. Ah, uh, there was a big recession. Japan in recession, but uh, TPS first gets wide attention by the world. Okay, in 1990, uh, these right US uh, researchers, Womack, Jones, and Roos wrote the book, the machine that changed the world, lean production. So they call it lean production. They don't call it uh, Toyota production system. They call it lean production. Okay, and they rewrote the book. This is the first version. The second version, 1996. If you Google, you'll find lean thinking. Lean thinking, banish waste. Banish means to remove waste, create wealth in your corporation. Okay, so that is lean thinking. And Jeffrey Liker, Toyota Way in the 2000, and they became number one in 2012, and still going strong today. You can visit their website. uh i comp- i found this in one of the you know books and uh, these are the main five principles in toyota uh, statements and teaching of sakichi toyoda which was collected and arranged by isaburo toyoda and kichiro toyoda released 30th of uh, of Feb- uh, october 1935 on the fifth anniversary of sakichi's death so number one in toyota this is their principles always be faithful to your duties mochiro nihongo de this is already translated ego de translate mochiro no you know nihongo de in in toyota thereby contributing to the company and to the overall good so that's the work first principle huh? number two, always be studious and creative striving to stay ahead of times in toyota this is their belief they study and they create creative they stay ahead of time that's why they produce toyota mirai toyota mirai is mirai mirai wa future desho <laughs> mirai any car company have uh, like uh, ford future is there ford future or volkswagen future arimaska Nein. Only Toyota thinks about the future. Toyota Mirai. Always be practical and avoid frivolousness. Is like playing around, playing around. Some companies they come to work, they see people playing around, not not serious in work. Okay. Always strive to build a home-like atmosphere at work that is warm and friendly. Okay, what do you mean by uh, warm and friendly? I mean you understand this. You understand this? Can you understand this uh, fourth one? Home like atmosphere. Number five. Okay, you key. You you explain to me number five. What does it mean? very briefly
or anyone want to help uh, Yuki? Number five, anyone can explain to me the meaning of number five? Huh, Pangi? You don't understand this? Anyone who understands this, can uh, can you explain to the rest of the group? Yule, do you understand this? What's the meaning of spiritual matters? Spiritual matters means uh, things which are related to uh, the spirit, you know, your between you and God. <laughs> For example, I'm a Muslim. A Muslim is always uh, spiritual uh, in nature, you know. Yong, you ask this, is it? Yong, uh, yes. spiritual. Spiritual means your soul, soul. So you know your soul, and you know with uh, your religion, your God, spiritual. So always have respect for spiritual matters, and remember to be grateful at all times. So you have to be grateful at all times. This, this is number five. is about humans, you know, uh, giving thanks and also be, uh, you know, be kind, be good. So those are, you know, spiritual matters. Okay. But imagine a company having uh, these uh, principles. I don't know. There are companies, of course, we can do research to find it. Eh? So my study led to this, okay? This is my own analysis. Why a new production system is needed by Toyota. So you imagine 1950s or late 40s, after World War II, 1945, company, Japan was in crisis as well as companies. Eh? So they were in a crisis situation. So the flow is ideal, okay? So, so we'll go here, then after that, I'll go here. Crisis situation. Not enough resources. No technology. And also, Toyota is a late comer in car industry. Late comer means they, they, they were late than General Motors. They were later after Toyota, uh, Ford, or even uh, BMW, okay? All the big car manufacturers. So they were late. No raw material, for example, steel. No, they have to import. But importantly, this one, this is important. No money or oh, little money. Kane ga sukunai yo. Kane ga sukunai. So they only have X amount of money. Yen, certain amount. So how to how to make sure you cash flow? Uh, by by the way, by the way, this is. Uh, this is uh, Taichi Ono, the father of uh, TPS, Taichi Ono. So you go this. So only resource that can you be to rely. Ningen dake ga arimas. Ningen. Ningen no chika, uh, cha, uh, nani? Uh, chikaraka. Uh, okay, so they use a lot of human strength. So how to produce cars? At that time, there was, there was not much machine. They use human. Eh? How to produce given these constraints? So constraints was not enough money, no technology, so only men. Men is very creative if you use their brain. So they develop their uh, steel industry. They develop their engine factory. Okay, and at the same time, they need a system. You need to do things differently. You cannot follow the West of doing making cars. So that's why they develop their own technology, their own methods, which is far more effective for survival, which is actually quality control plus production plus management systems, which actually resulted into this so-called, uh, they call it just in time, okay? They call it just in time. Uh, and finally, it is known as Toyota production system. So. Toyota production system or just in time means, so the basis is this, produce only what is required. So make only, for example, 10 cars. <clears throat> only the amount quantity required. So to make 10 cars, you only order 
enough for 10 materials because okane sukunai so that's why just in time so the time between order and delivery must be shortened so this time if it is too long then you cannot get get your money wakaruka so lead time short okay make sell make sell make sell so that is you know the thinking just in time system eh? so taichi ono says that <coughs> tps is a series of related activities aimed at elimination of waste in order to reduce cost improve quality improve productivity so the scientific mindset on the shop floor, it is important to start with actual phenomena. Gambutsu. Mondai wa ne, ano, shop floor ni arimas yo. Doku demo ne, gemba ni arimas. Mondai wa gemba ni arimas. Gemba, jimusho ni nai yo. Gemba, production uh, problems are in gemba. So, gambutsu and search for root cause. Uh, Gain, gain, gain. Onto no gain in. So, the kara uh, is more uh, five Y ni sukayo. Five Ys. See, some naze. Why, why this defect? Then you get kotai. Kota, you get the answer. You ask another why. Five times. Why, 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 why? Naze, 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 naze. Then you can get the root cause. So you can kai kata yo, sky mas. Uh, then only you can solve problems. If not, some some people they solve problems. Oh, I know the answer already. That is not scientific. Why? Naze? Because uh, they only assume the answer, but they know they don't investigate. They don't investigate, investigate. They get the answer, investigate. I was trained like that. Okay, I was trained in Mitsubishi for one year to think like that. Think, okay, why this happened? Then you get the answer. The answer will, I see, give you another question. Then you find the answer to the question. Okay. In other words, we must emphasize getting the facts. Get facts. Facts. Facts is numbers, analysis. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, opinion also can become facts. So in problem solving, the purpose must be clear. And in Kaizen, the needs must be made clear. Okay. So this was the first TPS manual. All right. Practice over theory. Uh, so the American economy were losing competitiveness to Japan by 1970s, including automotive and electronic. So how the Japanese go to Japan and conduct a study is MIT, MIT study, Massachusetts Institute of Technology study, James Womack and Dan Jones. So they actually uh, introduce lean into American companies so that they can compete because they cannot be, they will be losing with Japanese. But now Japanese is also not they are competitive, okay. They are competitive, but they are not getting a lot of market share. They are, you know, they are losing with, uh, you know, countries like China, okay, or India coming up. Eh? Well, that's the world. Eh? So this is the 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 other, uh, mm. you know, the. Pangi, nanika arimasu ka? Daijoubu? Daijoubu. Okay. So I was, I'm, I'm trying to show you the history of how Toyota and how persistent they are, actually. How persistent. Toyota is one of the best companies in the world. If you research on Toyota, you'll find many things. This is what I found only, eh? very little. So this is a book on lean thinking. This when the Americans, they went to Japan, visited companies in Japan, including Toyota, and found this lean thinking, okay, which is Toyota production system. 
Uh, so they want to convert uh, provides a way to make work more satisfying to convert convert muda into value. So so anything that we do, if you work later on in companies, you must always think about how to convert muda into value. So you have to think very deeply. Eh? Okay. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to explain every single thing. I'm just, uh, I've shown you this last week already. Okay, so the house of quality. So this is the pillar of just in time. Pillar, eh? pillar, just in time. This is pillar, jidoka. Quality, eh? quality. This is quality. And the foundation, ejunka, standardized process. Okay, visual management, I have not shown to you. Waste reduction, continuous improvement, people and teamwork. Okay, and target is this the, the roof. The roof is this roof. Best quality, low cost, shortest lead time, best safety, and high morale. Okay, so that is the target. Okay, I'm not going to repeat things that I have uh, said. So this is Jidoka. Jidoka means you. This is the automate the Toyota Loom, the Loom weaving Loom. So they actually, the you know design uh, automatic stop. Okay, automatic stop because automatically stop production will fix problem. If you don't stop, the problem will continue and you have defective cloth. Okay, so that's why Jidoka or automation was. Very, uh, it's used throughout Toyota. Where you know, can you put it Jidoka? Eh? And also, uh, it builds things right the first time. No overproduction, no overproduction because perfect. Eh? Uh, this is the the so called the Toyota way. The book that I showed you just now. Okay, one the the there's two main element: respect for people and continuous improvement. I've we have this we've you have seen just now already, right? So continuous improvement pillar, they will explain the concept of challenge. Challenge. Everything uh, you know the Toyota do is challenge. Challenge to find new way. Kaizen and Genchi Genbutsu. We practice Genchi Genbutsu. So Toyota lah. We mean Toyota. Practice Genchi Genbutsu. Go to the Gemba source to find facts and to make correct decisions. Uh, build consensus because people will go together many uh, at the same time to meeting. Eh? Respect for people through respect and teamwork. Uh, and uh, Fuji Cho said, first we build people, then we build cars. That's why I mentioned just now is Hito Zukuri. You build people, Hito Zukuri. Mono Zukuri mo, uh, no, no. Taisetsu uh, ne, important, but. Uh, Hito Zukuri is more important than Mono Zukuri. <laughs> Hito Zukuri. Eh? The Toyota Business Practice, the book that I showed just now, have this eight steps problem solving model. So anything Toyota do is follow the steps. Okay, clarify the problem, break down the problem, set a target. So all these steps until you get the standardized successful processes. Improve and then finally. There is a Japanese word here. Yoko ten. Yoko ten. Yoko ten. Wow. Share the new standard. That means any place that use the same process, use throughout Yoko ten. Okay. So not many companies have Yoko ten because silo. Silo. <laughs> only one department, only one department. So they don't, they don't share this new uh, way. Uh, this is what they say, you know, scientific problem solving steps in Toyota. So they have idea of what is a problem and what type of problem they have and how to solve problem. And this is very good. I like this. I like uh, Tai Chi Ono say these sayings. No one has more trouble than the person who claims to have no trouble. Wakaruka. Having no problem is the biggest problem of all. So in a company, if someone asks you, do you have a problem? Then they'll say, say no problem. Uso. Because having problem is normal. 
if I ask uh, Yu Hong, do you have a problem now? Many problems. <laughs> huh, Yu Hong? Uh, yes, I have problem. Many problems. But yeah. you have to solve the problem. Problems must be slowly overcome. Because it, you know, it's a challenge and we have to overcome it. How we solve it, we have to, you know, uh, have the methods eh, and tools. So in industry, manufacturing company, all of you have not worked before. If you work, then you see how, how problem is a problem. Your, your problem is a very small problem. <laughs> your, your study problem is a very small problem. Sorry, what? Mundai, small, small Mundai. Eh? There are bigger problems. And also, this I took from Albert Einstein. You can't solve today's problems at the same level of thinking you were at when you created them. Okay, So you have to think of creativity. Yeah? So the same level of thinking, the creation problem. So you cannot you have to think at a higher level, different level. I've talked about waste already. Waste, I think you understand waste. Non-value added versus value added. Okay, this diagram is just showing. This is the total. Okay, total. So this is non-value add. This is value added. Okay. So don't uh, try to you know focus on traditional improvement. Is they try to improve this value added? No, non-value added. What you need to do is try to reduce. For example, if this the time. Don't, don't reduce the value at the time. Value at the time, keep. Non-value at the time, reduce. So the focus of waste elimination in lean is non-value added. Non-value added activities. Not value added. Value added, don't touch. Don't ask you to run faster. You cannot run faster. That's, you cannot ask the worker to uh, you know, um, do faster by moving your hand faster. No, hand cannot move faster. Hand is, you know, already a value add. Where you put the places, where you put your parts, bring it closer. That is, you know, you know non-value added uh, reduction. Okay. Right. Uh, this I've sh you've shown this before. Okay, over processing and so on. And the eighth waste is the non-utilized talent. Okay, brain, human brain. Human brain. We have seen this last week. Uh, so, Muri, Muda, Mura. So, that's very important to understand. Eh? Muri, Mura, Muda. Muri, Muri is Muri, is Muri. Lah. <laughs> Muri. <laughs> Muri, eh? Muri. So, Muri, uh, this, this picture show Muri, Muri. Unreasonable burden. Muri. Heavy, too heavy. Uh, muda, waste. Mura, unlevel, eh? uneven. So Mura is uneven. For example, uneven. Worker A, only you know, every uh, cycle production, the, the cycle time is 10 minutes. Worker B, uh, 20 minutes, take a long time. Even, even out 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So that is cycle time. Okay, this guy weight is all here, so how to even put it at the center? Even so, you so you that's why kangai kata important. So, thinking important, thinking is important. After that, we find a way. Okay, in Islam, this is a uh, from, from my religion. Okay, my religion. If there is a saying in Quran, in um, Muslim we use Quran. So if you read here, do not spend wastefully. The wasteful are brothers of the devils. And uh, ever has Satan been to his Lord ungrateful. Innal mubazirina kanu ihwana shayateen wa kana shaytanu li rabbihi kafura. Okay. So this is the word uh, waste. 
don't waste don't waste okay but of course uh, you know people still waste people waste money you know ah kaizen kaizen is it right is it right kai is change zen is good uh, so this is the father of uh, masaki mai is the father of kaizen and also of course uh, lin guru lah. kaizen he's the father of kaizen Maas, masaki mai he has a, he wrote a book kaizen so how can we improve something today so kaizen is not only a continuous improvement it is more than that it's actually every day everywhere everyone improvements <laughs> so he said that okay he said uh, every day everywhere everyone improvement so three steps to kaizen one is we need to improve manual work first uh, manual work first not equipment first manual okay then equipment then process so three steps three stage all right so that's how we, we look uh, kaizen but of course we use the simple we start with simple kaizen first i have a video actually eh? aha uh, kikairu kana kikairu kikairu no 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 I have to discard first. I have to stop share first. I have to actually put the sound here. Okay, share sound. Okay. Asoka. Miro? Can you see? Yeah. Okay, now can you hear? Yes. Okay. The secret behind Japanese productivity. Visitors to factories in Japan often remark how carefully and neatly the tools and working materials are arranged. This is actually the key to efficiency. When tools are laid out clearly and conveniently, no work time is wasted looking for them and logical pre-positioning of materials reduces time spent transporting them to workspaces, lessening the danger of collisions en route. Such techniques for improving work efficiency and safety are known as Kaizen, a Japanese word that simply means to do something better. Our workers on the shop floor are always thinking of ways to improve the workflow revising procedures so they take two steps instead of three or need five seconds instead of ten. Many tiny improvements add up to give a big result. That's Kaizen. The idea of Kaizen began in automobile plants about 70 years ago. Workers sharing their knowledge to revise and improve work procedures made a great contribution during the years of Japan's rapid economic growth and the Kaizen philosophy is still firmly embedded in Japanese industry. Let's look at how Kaizen works in this sandwich factory, which has a mostly female workforce. Their old way of doing it was for each worker to handle a single process as the materials move past them on the line. But one process, cutting the bread, always took more time and interrupted the flow, keeping the next worker waiting. We'd been doing it that way for years and never saw it was a problem. Once they realized the weakness in their system, they decided to change from a linear flow to one where small groups of workers each complete batches of sandwiches. After rearranging workbenches and assigning multiple processes to each worker, the time required fell sharply and productivity went up. Now we rarely have to stand about waiting for materials. It's really improved the job. This factory employs a large number of workers with disabilities. The Kaizen approach paid off here too. 
A major goal of our Kaizen effort was to make it easier and more comfortable for the workers to do their jobs. Trash receptacles were redesigned for easy transportation. And various assistive devices allow people with visual impairments to operate equipment. This worker devised the Kaizen idea of stabilizing hanging screwdrivers with flexible cords. His improvement reduces wasteful movement. And since the driver has used thousands so you notice of times that a day, spring, saves as much as 200 minutes of work okay, time a month. Plastic. It really feels like you've accomplished something when you come up with a new technique like this. We all enjoy thinking and working together to make our job better. Spares and supplies are arranged for easy handling by the visually challenged. Mm. For example, these tapes are arranged by type, and large paper discs indicate by touch when only one is left. And the disc's bright printed design delivers the information clearly to sighted people too. Car jacks allow work tables to be raised and lowered to match the height of each wheelchair. This idea was so helpful, jacks have been fitted to all the work tables. Ideas intended to make things easier for people with disabilities often simplify everyone's work. Improving productivity, quality and working conditions and all with no need for new equipment. Before and after. Japan's Kaizen approach is Kaizen. winning followers around the world. Yes, Kaizen is very important for companies to survive. Eh? So, so 5S is basis for Kaizen. Okay, 5S. Important, very important. Visual factory and I don't want to show this, but these are the facts, the, you know, I, this is, this is, uh, I went to Toyota and this is what I did in Toyota. They asked me to video, uh, you know, it's, it's very easy for me because uh, I've done this before. <laughs> There's a, so we, 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 uh, this is a record of a video we show, we, we, we watch. Uh, for example, they asked us to find what is the uh, Buddha no Musiketeka. The, the, the minute of the video and what is, you know, the muda, what is the problem? So if you see here, left hand holding, left hand holding. Hand is not for holding. So they were uh, you know, work study principle. <laughs> okay. Holding must be given to jig, equipment to hold. Okay. Uh, reach for parts, reach, too far reach. Okay. So you need to bring it closer. Holding part while tightening top. So these are things which were found for the you know uh, video training. So we we watch the video and we actually holding headlamp right hand while inserting wire harness. Okay, and after that, uh, this is top view. Okay, if you can visualize, you can imagine. This is worker A. Sorry, wa, worker B. This is workers D. This one. this one, this is the machine and also the parts. One, two, three, four uh, steps. Ne? Okay, so we have to design before and after. So we can move around the, the, uh, pal the, the equipment and also the parts. Okay, and we took time, okay, time study. Okay. So existing method times, and then idea for improvements. What is the idea for improvements? And implement it, okay. Right, uh, okay, I think I'm going to, okay, probably I just mentioned this Hito Zukuri system for Toyota. Eh? Toyota Hito Zukuri system. Uh, human development, this one is, uh, Ah, okay. Mieru ka? Can you see? But of course, it's many things. I will explain to you. Human development, uh, Hitozukri, system for knowledge and skill preparedness in Toyota. So you look at here, types of training. The blue box here, the first blue box here is 
for team leader and team member. So you move on, eh? okay? So these are the content of training. How to speak so others will listen, listening, effective meet, meeting, and so on, standardized work. So if they become group leader, this is the training, okay? The added training. If they want to become specialist engineering or assistant manager, uh, this is the knowledge. This is the knowledge. So to become assistant manager, you must know budget skills and also operating budget, basically finance. Finance. So if your level of uh, become higher, then the, uh, the Toyota has their own university actually. There is a Toyota University training their own people eh, how to become uh, managers or even uh, specialists, uh, designers, and so on. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Oh, you asked me to discuss about next week. Uh, oh. Next week, you need to do who? Okay. Which group? Can I know which? Uh, who are is which? Who join with who? Uh, me and uh, which? You and Chit Sing, Song Yi. Uh, me, Ho, and Yuki. Yuki. Oh, you three, yeah. Okay, uh, Yuki and Yule and Yu Hong. Yes. Okay. So, what problem have you found? What is your? What do you? What is in? You know your your thinking now. Which company or which process or you know what what do you? What do you have in mind now? Idea, idea. So you have two weeks to do it, three weeks, I think. You go to 7 Eleven or Family Mart. You take a video of how the workers actually uh, you know stack the, the food, the breads on the rack. You take a video and tell them we are to do a study. Right? Then you view the, the video. Can you see in change something that can be um, reduce the time? Can you rearrange how they actually do the work? That is, you know, something that you can do. Any improvement? I want to see some kind of idea for improvement. No need to implement. Not for you, you know, it's to be implemented. No, it is, I have this, this is a problem. <clears throat> They're taking too much time to do this. No, why, why is she, you know, walking very far? Can I put the box nearer? You know, those kinds of ideas uh, that, that can be, uh, that is practical, okay? That is practical, that can be done, okay? Can be in any aspects, okay? And uh, if you want to go for lean, lean operations, you know, for efficiency, no problem. It's good to look at videos. You know, just look at videos. You can see, or you take a video by yourself. When you do the presentation, you can show some of the videos and you know your uh, your slides to show before and after. Okay, it is like kaizen. Eh? I want you to do a kaizen. That's all. Kaizen. Find some uh, some ideas and use some of the things that you've seen in the book and you know, uh, prepare a few slides for presentation, okay? Because we have a lot of time, I, I can ask you to present half an hour. <laughs> okay, so I can ask you to present a long time. I can ask a lot of questions because I have all the time in the world for next, uh, you know, for the final lecture. Okay? So the, the present will be on the day of Wednesday, 12th of January. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. January. So 12th yeah. January is just your project presentation and your, you know, and finalizing the this uh, this uh, class. That's all. Uh, wrap up, you know, your things that you have not submitted and so on. Yeah. You lay okay, ka? Hi. Huh? I'm okay. You're okay, okay. 
Right. Any questions? Any any other question? Anything? Any other question outside this uh, this topic? Outside this subject? Uh, Yu Hong, any question outside of this topic? Outside of uh, other than operations management? Oh, oh, no, just want to say Happy New Year. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> yeah, in Facebook and uh, in my YouTube. Anyway. Okay, have a, have a, not, not, you have work to do. Okay, have, have a happy new year, but you have work to do. Yeah. yeah. Gambarimasu ne. Gambarimasu. Hi, hi. So, I will see you after new year. Okay, I'll see you. Uh, Mata Rainen. Mata Rainen. Mata Rainen. 2022. Uh, 2022. Okay, so take care. Okay, right. Okay. Right, right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take okay. care. Thank you.